What's up guys, Kurtz here and welcome to a FIFA 13 Ultimate Team Player Review of Fernando Torres. Today we're going to be covering some of his key in-game stats, some of his real life information and then we are going to look at some gameplay that I have captured with him. So let's move straight on to some of his real life stats. And as you can see there, his name is Fernando Torres, although I spelled it wrong on here but shh, don't tell anyone. He is a striker, he is Spanish, he plays for Chelsea in the Barclays Premier League, he is 6 foot tall and at the current time of recording he costs around 30,000 coins on the Xbox. His, some of his in-game stats are 84 sprint speed, 82 acceleration, 85 ball control, 85 finishing, 84 shot power, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. These are some of his key stats and some of his better stats. He's also right footed but with the 4 star weak foot it allows him to use his left. But let's go on to some clips and as you will see in this first one, he's a fantastic target man. Whether that's for volleys, whether that's for headers, whether that's running onto the ball, he is absolutely brilliant at it. He will always seem to get a part of his body onto the ball when you need him to and that works perfectly of course when you cross it in like here. Um got a volley onto it there later on you'll see lots of headers and stuff like that 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 is one of the bonuses of the height strength and pace he has and uh, just general just general presence I guess you could say however I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of him now you may have seen in the last few days I've also done a player review of Mata and uh, Neymar and the team I used them in and stuff like that and I've got to say I really did not enjoy using Torres out of the 27 games I played I believe he only got 19 goals and as a solo striker granted it was 4 3 2 1 so there was left and right forwards but as a solo striker, to get that few goals is not good enough. Like, I, you're expecting at least a goal a game from someone like him. And some may say I'm just not using it right. Perhaps it was the formation he wasn't suited for it. I'm not really the biggest fan of 4-3-2-1 anyway. But to be honest, it just didn't seem to work. I really struggled to play with him um, and just struggled to do anything with him. I, d I usually, generally, prefer slightly slower strikers like him with more aerial ability. But it just didn't seem to work. Like I said, maybe it was the formation or something. But personally... I would not spend 35,000 coins on him. There is a lot of players that I would much rather pick up for the... Uh the exact same price or even less however as I was saying he does have some very very good qualities like his heading which is absolutely brilliant he's a brilliant target man uh, his pace isn't too bad he can actually get on the end of quite a few balls and his finishing is quite impressive uh, in terms of finesses he isn't too good at just general powered shots however despite having pretty good shot power but uh, yeah I scored a lot of finesse shots with him which uh, which is always useful and he also has four star skills which generally I love in a striker I love to be able to chop and get my way past some players but we're coming up to Towards the end of this episode now guys we've got about 20 seconds left so what I do want to say if you have any suggestions for players for me to review leave them down below in a comment that'd be great thank you as always for watching if we get 500 likes on this episode that would be absolutely brilliant thanks again for watching guys subscribe if you haven't already loads more player reviews overpriced versus affordable squad builders loads of awesome stuff so subscribe if you haven't already thank you as always for watching guys and I'll see you next time